this is the, the case of uh, a young uh, patient, a male of 30 years old. Um, during the last months, uh, he developed uh, uh, a pain of the upper uh, right uh, quadrant of the abdomen with uh, weight loss. And uh, the US examination and the CT scan show uh, multiple uh, nodules uh, in the liver. The, there is no uh, primitive uh, uh, tumor was found, no primitive tumor was found on the uh, gastroscopy and on the colonoscopy. And the goal today of the, of the US is uh, to, uh, uh, to try to find this uh, primary lesion uh, uh, at the level of the pancreas or uh, the biliary duct and also to uh, perform uh, a biopsy of the, uh, of the uh, liver metastasis uh, through the, the gastric wall. For this uh, examination, I used the uh, uh, therapeutic scope from, uh, from Pentax, and uh, I will... Uh, and no aspiration. I will use also the, the, new, uh, the new needle uh, from Cook, the new 20-gauge uh, needle. Okay, now... I introduce the, the scope. Okay. Now I pass into the, the oh. esophagus. And uh, I pass into the stomach. Oh. And I will check the, first of all, the, the liver. Here you see that we have a a lot of <coughs> metastatic lesion here with necrotic, uh, necrotic area. The aspect uh, seems uh, neuroendocrine lesion because the, the, the mass you see is hyperechoic with an hypoechoic uh, uh, halo which is um, more often f find in uh, neuroendocrine tumor. Okay, I will check the, quickly the, the pancreas. Here there is a big node. Here. This is the left lobe. And here there is a mass here. Here there is something, but it seems that is a, a gastric tumor. Uh, this is a gastric tumor. Mark, yeah. Do you think sonogu is good to this kind of metastasis? Yes, we, you can do the sonoview, but in this case you can do the sonoview externally with the with the US. Uh, it's not need to use the the US. But here we have uh, we have this. Uh, this mass, which is the develop in the in the stomach, which is probably the the primitive tumor. Can you give me some water, please, before to use the needle? I will put some uh, some water inside the the stomach, not too much, to avoid. Uh, regurgitation but here you see the you see the lesion here be careful and uh, here we have this uh, this big lesion here developing the into the stomach into the stomach and uh, this is the primitive uh, the primitive tumor. I will see endoscopically if uh, I see the this lesion. <coughs> yes, here we have uh, we have this uh, big lesion here. Okay. Okay, I will do the two things. Uh, in this case, I will do a biopsy uh, with a forceps at the level of the lesion here. Give me a, 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 and I will do the biopsy 
with the, the liver metastasis. Here I focus on the on the on the US image. I will show you how to perform a biopsy with a forceps and the, the US scope. Yeah. Here you see the, the you see the forceps here on the US image here. Now you can open the forceps. Yes. And uh, it's okay. okay, close. You can also perform the, the biopsy with the endoscopic view. Huh? Here, open, close. Here you see on the US the, the forceps open. You see the forceps open on the US image. And now close. And uh, now I will move for the biopsy now of the of the liver. Okay, this is the pancreas. The pancreas here is normal. But the primitive lesion is uh, on the gastric. Okay. Now I will select one uh, liver metastasis. Okay. Here, for example. Here we have a big one. Here. And I will use the the new uh, the new needle. C can you? Uh, this needle is new for with for three things. First is the the new uh, the new bevel. It's a reverse bevel. Here, in comparison with the the Procore needle, and the the biopsy with the Procore needle was performed when you pull the, the needle inside the lesion. With this needle, the biopsy will be performed when you push the needle inside the lesion. This is the first, uh, the first change. The second is the, the catheter. is a, a very uh, soft catheter. It's a metallic sheet. And this is uh, very useful when the scope is bended. And the third uh, advent advantage Cassandra will show you after when the needle will be inside the lesion. Okay. Now, I select the, the target, I think here. I adjust the catheter here okay here you see the catheter and now I will go here inside the lesion here try to see the, the needle now you remove the stylet and you show the stylet to the yes now it's a new stylet, you see, is in nitinol. And uh, 
Is it much easier? Yes. Yeah. Okay, now I perform the biopsy of this uh, metastasis. You see the, the visibility of the needle is uh, very good. Yeah. And I think with three or four back and four, it's enough. Okay, we will see now the, the results on the cytolite. Needle out. Okay. You reintroduce the stylet. Yes. It's a Push, push, push. And here we have we have the biopsy here. Huh? Here, you see pop. Here again. Here, here. Stop, stop, stop. Here we have the the, the biopsy. Okay. Push, 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 push again. Okay. This is perfect. Oh little bit more tissue. And you see, this is tissue, huh? This is tissue, yeah. Uh, we, have a, we have a real biopsy. Okay. Now the procedure is, uh, is finished. We need to, to wait the... We need to wait, of course, the, 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 the final results of the of the biopsy. Alors, it's important uh, in case of uh, no endocrine tumor, because this is suspected in this patient, to have the biopsy of the tumor, the primitive tumor, and the biopsy of the liver. Because sometimes the grade of the lesion change. And you can have a, a grade one or two at the level of the, of the, of the primary lesion <coughs> and a more aggressive, uh, uh, more aggressive um, uh, grad at the level of the liver metastasis. And this is very important to uh, adjust uh, the, the chemotherapy. Huh?